Hello everyone, this is Sebi with a quick tutorial over the new TOS gear spreadsheet. First of all, this is a read-only spreadsheet, so we'll need to go up to the top left, and we're going to make a copy, and we're going to name it whatever we'd like. I've gone ahead and done this, and named it Sebi's TOS Warlock Gear. So first off, down at the bottom, you'll see that there are three tabs, one for each spec, and we are going to be looking at demonology for this quick tutorial. So on the left, you'll see that this is going to be all of the gear that currently drops in TOS. Uh, you'll notice that uh, it has a couple of calculations built in, as well as some relics down at the bottom. Over here, we've got our stat weights, and then over here to the far right, uh, this is going to be our suggested best in slot with four piece guaranteed bonus. Uh, so first off, this is an auto-sorting spreadsheet. Uh, it does sort by gear slot. So if I'm looking over here, I've got my helms. Um, if I want to uh, have this resort, it can resort by two ways. The first way it can resort is by changing uh, one of the eye levels. Uh, the second way that it will trigger a resort is if you are changing your stat weights over here. You'll notice that the stat weights are coming in preloaded per spec. Uh, these were suggested uh, stat weights before TOS officially is released. So these can be updated at any time and also can be updated to fit your SimC values. Uh, so if I go over here and I'm going to, let's say, update this to 960, you'll notice that it does trigger a resort and it will reshuffle values. You'll also notice that this, uh, the Diabolical Helm has actually become uh, best in slot because it is 960 and it has triggered um, the four-piece bonus to include uh, the helm. If I go ahead and change that back real quick, you'll notice that it is back to the original and the four best pieces that you currently have are going to be recommended on the right hand side. Um, the other thing we can do is even though this does not actually include legendaries, it can still give me information that I would need to know in order to equip the best four pieces of tier. So let's say that I'm going to choose to use the legendary recurrent ritual. So that's going to be taking up my shoulder tier slot. Currently, it's saying that I should be using the shoulder tier. What I can do is I can say, well, if I've got my diabolical mana over here, I'm going to set that to zero. That's going to push it down to the very bottom saying I'm not going to use it. Notice that it has triggered a reshuffle on the right so that the four pieces that I would be using, if using uh, recurrent ritual instead of the shoulder pads of the Whispering Twilight, um, I'd be using the helm, the robe, the gloves, and the leggings. So this can still be used for suggestions for gear, even though it doesn't have the legendary specifically built in. Uh, the other thing that we can do is if I have uh, my stat weights up here, uh, this will also trigger a resort. So let's say I wanted to change my mastery to 1.5. So if I change this to 1.5, Notice that it will cause a reshuffle over here to the left um, and will also change things up a little bit over here to the right. Still now calculating the best four pieces given my new stat weights. I hope this really helps. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me um, a quick message on Discord and have a great day.